coming up on 5-Minute News. Trump claims indictment is baseless as details of crimes unfold. Former First Minister of Scotland arrested in funding probe. And Ukraine recaptures village as Russian forces fire on civilians. It's Monday, June 12. I'm Anthony Davis. The disgraced former President Donald Trump blasted his historic federal indictment as ridiculous and baseless on Saturday during his first public appearances since the charges were unsealed, painting the 37 felony counts as an attack on his supporters as he tried to turn dire legal peril into political advantage and project a sense of normalcy. Trump also vowed on Saturday to remain in the race, even if he is convicted in the case. The federal indictment accuses the former president of illegally hoarding classified documents at his Florida estate after leaving the White House in 2021 and then scheming and lying to thwart government efforts to recover them. Justice Department prosecutors brought 37 felony counts against Trump in the indictment, relying upon photographs from Mar-a-Lago, surveillance video, text messages between staffers, Trump's own words, those of his lawyers and other evidence. An aide to Trump, Walt Norter, was charged as a co-conspirator with six felony counts. Trump faces 31 counts of willful retention of national defence information under the Espionage Act. Other charges include conspiracy to obstruct justice, corruptly concealing a document or record, concealing a document in a federal investigation, and making false statements. Each of the willful retention counts pertains to a specific classified document found at Mar-a-Lago marked secret or top secret. Topics addressed in the documents include details about U.S. nuclear weapons, the nuclear capabilities of a foreign country, and the military activities or capabilities of other countries. The conspiracy charges deal with Trump's alleged attempts to hide documents from his lawyer or federal investigators. The false statement charges stem from Trump causing his lawyer to tell the FBI that no more classified documents were at Mar-a-Lago, but then the FBI later found more than 100 documents during an August 2022 search. In one conversation with his lawyers, Trump said, I don't want anybody looking through my boxes. Trump also asked one of his lawyers if it would be better if we just told them we don't have anything here, the indictment says. Former Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said on Sunday she was innocent after being arrested and held for more than seven hours as part of a police probe into the fate of funds for her pro-independent Scottish National Party. The police investigation is looking at what happened to more than £600,000 in funding raised by Scottish independence campaigners in 2017, which was supposed to have been ring-fenced but may have been used for other purposes. The arrest is deeply embarrassing for the Scottish National Party, which has dominated Scottish politics for most of the last two decades. Sturgeon stood down earlier this year, and support for the party and its aim of independence has since dropped. Earlier, a spokesperson for Sturgeon said she had, by arrangement, attended an interview with Police Scotland to be arrested and questioned and was cooperating with the investigation. In April, Sturgeon's husband, Peter Morell, and the party's then-treasurer, Colin Beatty, were both arrested and then released without charge, pending further investigation as part of the same probe. Sturgeon, Morell and Beatty were all signatories on the SMP's bank accounts. Ukraine's military on Sunday reported recapturing a southeastern village as Russian forces claimed to repel multiple attacks in the area, while President Volodymyr Zelensky's top adviser said six people were injured after Moscow's troops opened fire at a boat evacuating people from Russian-occupied areas to Ukrainian-held territory along a flooded front line far to the south. The battlefield showdown in the southeast and chaotic scenes from inundated southern Ukraine marked the latest upheaval and bloodshed in Russia's war in Ukraine, now in its 16th month. 
Many civilians have said Russian authorities in occupied areas were forcing would-be evacuees to present Russian passports before taking them to safety. Since then, many small boats have shuttled from Ukrainian-held areas on the West Bank across the river, which has been flooded since a dam breach upstream on Tuesday, to rescue desperate civilians stuck on rooftops in attics and other islands of dry amid the deluge. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.